Hello, this short screencast will demonstrate how to use the Dropbox. Um, in D2L, the Dropbox is a very convenient way for participants to leave you assignments. So we access it through the Dropbox button, and here it is. And you can see some folders have been set up, and participants who are working on this will drop their folders in here, and it's really easy to create a new one. You use the New Folder tab. have to put some information. So let's call our new folder test. You can choose individuals to submit or groups. The group function only works if you have groups already set up. Um, even if they're working in groups, you could just ask an individual to submit it on behalf of a group. The category is a good way to organize the Dropbox so it looks like the content area and help participants keep on track. So you can either choose a category that's already determined, or you can create a new category. So I'm going to create one, and we're going to call it test category. In our course, we don't grade, and we don't really use rubrics, so these aren't useful for us. If you needed to add a file for some reason, you can add it here, or you can record your voice. But when you click Save and Close, when I scroll through in the Dropbox listing, you now see my new category and the new folder underneath. Now, if you have already entered all your folders for the participants to drop their work into, and you want to organize it, that's simple too. So using this little down arrow, and clicking Edit, so this is the folder where a participant will drop the work for this piece and this is not in a category. And I look here and I don't want either of these categories, so I can click New Category, and Activity Earn is in Module 2. And I click Save, and when I click Save and Close down here this time, and now if I scroll through my list, we find that there's a new category, Module Tool, and Activity Earn is put in there. And finally, there's a lot in this section that could all be in module two. So we can do that in one go. So now I've created module two. I have to create it first. I can select all the others that need to be in that module. And by using this edit button, it will give me a screen where I can easily place each of these activities in module two. Nearly there. Last one, and I click save, and I go back to the Dropbox list, and if I go over, I should see module two, and it has all of the assignments arranged. And that's all there is to it.